Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is ADM. Friend, today's topic is very important if you have interest in uh, fintech industry and you want to learn about that how we perform the transactions through ATM. So this is a very, very interesting and important topic for you. So let's just start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page and Instagram as well. So friend, what is an automated teller machine ATM? Friend, a automated teller machine ATM is an electronic banking outlet that allows customers to complete basic transactions without the aid of a branch representative or teller. Anyone with a credit card or debit card can access cash at most ATMs. ATMs are convenient allowing consumers to perform quick self-service transactions such as deposits, cash withdrawal, bill payment and transfer between accounts. Fees are commonly charged by for cash withdrawal by the bank where the account is located by the operator of the ATM or by both. Some or all of these fees can be avoided by using an ATM operated directly by the bank that holds the account. ATMs are known in different parts of the world as automated bank machines, ABM or cash machines as well. The first ATM appeared at a branch of Barclays Bank in London in 1967. Uh, there are reports of a cash dispenser in use in Japan in the mid-1960s. The interbank communication networks that allowed a consumer to use one bank's card at another bank's ATM came later in 1970s. Within a few years, ATM had spread around the globe, securing a presence in every major country. They now can be found even in tiny island nations such as uh, Kiribati uh, and the Federated States of uh, Macronesia. There are uh, some types of ATM, uh, mainly two primary types of ATMs are there. Basic units only allow customers to withdraw cash and receive updated account balances. The more complex machines accept deposits, facilitate line of credit payments and transfers and access account information. To access the advanced features of the complex units, a user often must be an account holder at the bank that operates the machine. Analysis anticipate ATMs will become even more popular and forecast an increase in the number of ATM withdrawals. ATMs of the future are likely to be full service terminals instead of or in addition to traditional bank tellers. ATM design elements. Although the design of each ATM is different, they all contain the same basic part, card reader. This part reads the chip on the front of the card or the magnetic strip on the back of the card. Keypad. The keypad is used by the customer to input information including personal identification number pin and the type of transaction required and the amount of the transaction. Cash dispenser bills are dispensed through a slot in the machine which is connected to a sale at the bottom of the machine. Printer if required consumers can request receipts that are printed here. The receipt records the type of transaction and the amount and the account balance. Screen the ATM issues prompts that guide the consumer through the process of executing the transaction. Information is also transmitted on the screen such as account information and balances. Full service machines now often have slots for depositing paper checks or cash. Special considering when using ATMs, banks place ATMs inside and outside of their branches. Other ATMs are located in high traffic areas such as shopping centers, grocery stores, convenience stores, airports, bus and railway stations gas stations, casinos, restaurants and other locations. Most ATMs that are found in banks are multifunctional while others that are off-site tend to be primarily or entirely designed for cash withdrawals. ATMs require consumers to use a plastic card either a bank debit card or a credit card to complete a transaction. Consumers are authenticated by a PIN personal identification number before any transaction can be made. Many cards come with a chip which transmits data from the card to the machine. 
these work in the same fashion as a barcode that is scanned by the card reader ATM fees account holders can use their bank's ATM at no charge but accessing funds through a unit owned by a competing bank usually incurs a fee according to uh, uh, some study the average total fee to withdraw cash from an out of network ATM was $4.55 as of uh, 2021. Some banks will uh, reimburse their customers for the fee especially if there is no corresponding ATM available in the area. So if you are one of those people who draws weekly spending money from an ATM using the wrong machine could cost you nearly around uh, $240 a year. ATM ownership. In many cases, banks and credit uh, unions on ATMs, however, individuals and businesses may also buy or lease ATMs on their own or through an ATM franchise. When individuals or small businesses such as restaurants or gas stations own ATMs, the profit model is based on charging fees to the machine's users. Banks also own ATMs with uh, this intent. They use the convenience of an ATM to uh, uh, attract clients. ATM also takes some of the customer service burdens from bank tellers, saving banks money in payroll cost. Using ATM abroad, ATM make it simple for travelers to access their checking or saving accounts from almost anywhere in the world. Travel experts advise consumers to use foreign ATMs as a source of cash abroad as they generally receive a more favorable exchange rate than they would at most currency exchange offices. However, the account holders bank may charge a transaction fee or a percentage of the amount exchanged. Most ATMs do not list the exchange rate on the receipt, making it difficult to track spending. How much can you withdraw from an ATM? The amount that you can withdraw from the ATM per day, per week or per month will vary based on your bank and account status at that bank. For most account holders, for instance, Capital One imposes a, around $1,000 daily ATM withdrawal limit and will uh, their $300 uh, further. You may be able to get around these limits by calling your a bank to request permissions or upgrading your bank status by depositing more funds. How do you make a deposit at an ATM? If you are a bank customer, you may be able to deposit cash or checks via one of their ATMs. To do this, you may simply need to insert the check or cash directly into the machine. Other machines may require you to fill out a deposit slip and put the money into an envelope before inserting it into the machine. For a check, be sure to endorse the bank of your check and also more for deposit only to be uh, safe. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you, friends.